Hello. All right, let me pull the chat up on the whatchamacallit. Uno momento. Babe, you think we got enough light in here? We have two gigantic, very bright lights in our face. I'm tired of it looking bad. You know? So I put up my two lights from when I used to be a videographer in here. Um, when I used to do client stuff. And that's what we're using right now. Let's see how it looks on the phone. And then as soon as I get this phone up, we'll hop in the chat. How does it look? Looks pretty good, actually. Oh, it's fine. Okay. Let's see. Hello. Hello, everybody. Um, let's see if there's any questions. Hello, hello. People are talking about how I'm supposed to go live on Thursdays and this is my day and stuff. Are they? Um, I used to go live every Monday and that's the night that I prefer to go live. So st I was going to start last Monday, but it was Mindy's birthday. And so she wanted to go live on her birthday. So starting this next upcoming Monday, I'll be going live every Monday. And then Isaac's going to be going live at, on Thursdays. Yeah, so we're trying to figure out a schedule. Because um, during the 30-day build, like, I felt like I was better with the schedule, personally. So, yeah, she'll go live Monday. I'll put out a vlog Tuesday, and I'll go live Thursday, and then I'll put out a tour Saturday. And that way I can set aside Sunday to have an actual day off. Because I used to put out a tour Sunday, but then I'm still putting it out, I'm promoting it, I'm still working. So, I'm going to take Sundays off, and that's the new plan for me. Tuesdays vlog, Thursdays live, and then um, a tour, if I can get one, Saturday. That's the plan. What if you can't get a tour? If I can't get a tour, I'll cross that bridge when I get there. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. We appreciate it. I am using my video lights to try and make this look a little better for you guys so it doesn't look all, you know, bad. I'm really excited. So drawers really suck. And I think I rebuilt every drawer in the 30-day build probably three times. And I was kind of dreading doing the drawers in Vin Diesel, which we're sitting in right now, because drawers suck. <laughs> And there's another slide out pantry in here. So I got two drawers to, done today, took all day. And uh, I have a little trick. Maybe I should share that trick on my blog on, on how I'm doing it now. Yeah, why not? So I only rebuilt the first drawer twice. And the second drawer I nailed it I first time. I only rebuilt the first drawer twice. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was like three times on... Uh, on um, Isaac's a liar, doesn't know how to take off, take a day off, Paul Honeyman says. Yeah, I did the second drawer first time, so that's like a huge improvement for me. Um, yeah, so I do want to say my channel's at 20,000 subscribers now. So thank you guys so much. I really do appreciate it. Um, you know, it, it's it's pretty crazy that I was just looking at an old video and I was like at 2,000 just four months ago, five months ago. It's crazy. So, it's been growing super fast and we appreciate you guys. Thank you. Uh, it's all about the slides. Yeah. Um, Amanda Sinclair, the flavor of my candy cane is pina colada. <laughs> pina colada? Mm -hmm. I'm drinking eggnog today, folks. Huh? I'm not big on eggnog. Homemade eggnog's better. Mm. Yeah, so... Oh, what are you doing? Are you trying to drink the eggnog? She just wants to smell it. So, the Vin Diesel build... I mean, after I get these drawers in... It's kind of home stretch. So, once I get the drawers in, and then... That's, like, the biggest mission left right now, is, like, the cabinetry which I should be able to finish in overestimating two days. Um, 
and then I got to put solar on the roof, which I have been worried that the solar panels that I have now uh, aren't actually going to fit up there. So, but I kind of have to get up with a ladder and find out because I might have to get different solar panels to fit up there. Um, but I mean, once I get the solar panels that'll fit, that's, that's an easy day to mount those. Um, and then it's just kind of little finishing touches here and there. Like I'm going to repaint all the white cause white gets dirty really fast. And they're saying we're a little blurry. <laughs> Um, yeah, just another Lori says, is Schooliana sold? Um, I'll expose that later. I'm not going to say either way, but you know, I ain't sad. <laughs> <laughs> um, so my plan is to get this get Vin Diesel done pretty quick and then get it listed pretty quick. So my goal was to have this bus listed in November, which I think I should be able to hit, you know, cause even when I get into the finishing detail, as long as I get this thing back together, get it all done and I don't find any major problems, I should be able to hit that. And it's still got like three, two weeks. Yeah, should be fine. Oh, Jason Fang Fang Boner. I think it's Fang Boner. Fang Boner. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited going to look at a four window bus with a 7.3 power stroke. Ah, uh, I have two of those. I love that platform. Good luck, Jason. I love those. Oh, I think the chat's moving on me without me like scrolling. <clears throat> huh. Brenda said, "Are you gonna do any food prepping for winter in case it?" in case you get snowed in have you ever been snowed in like here oh yeah oh yeah the winter's here gnarly so we should get extra food well we should probably get a four-wheel drive <laughs> <laughs> um buying <laughs> extra food is probably cheaper <laughs> <laughs> yeah it, it was a couple yeah it get the snow up here is gnarly 440 of you are hanging out with us thank you so much if you guys have any questions about buses or anything, drop them in here. Um, oh, Shane Spencer, always watch, but first time to catch a live. No replay today. Thank you, Shane. Yeah, we're here live today. Uh, oh, Fred Field says uh, he won't last long. 2.40 alarm tomorrow. 2.40 a.m. That's crazy. Oof. Good luck, man. Oh, hey, will you go grab the... Half of it's in my bus. Okay, another time. Um, video and audio look good to me. That's my bad, I forgot. <laughs> Amanda Sinclair gets skis or snow boots for the bus. Um... I got really good tires on Minion, so we should be able to get out of here. <laughs> Linda Harms, so when you sell them both, where the heck are you going to live? That worries me. Mom mode can't break out of it. Yeah, my mom's trying to tell me that I should live in Vin Diesel over the winter or until my next bus is built. Um, but we all, the thing is, is Jay Lena's bus is still being built too. And as soon as that has a bed frame in it, like, it's livable. So Which will happen before the end of the month. Yeah, so it's like, um, with, if school if Schooliana is gone, that means that I have Vin Diesel that is, should be built within the next week or two completely. Um, I'm going to list it as soon as it's done, and then hope... And then we'll live in it over the winter if it doesn't sell. If it does sell, I'm hoping that Jaylena's bus will at least have a bed frame in it. And if it don't, we'll figure it out from there. <laughs> like, because Bussy, Bussy already has a floor. It's already been cleaned. Literally, all I have to do in Bussy is start building it. So, like, I could build a bed frame in Bussy in one day. So, if it came down to it. 
I yeah. only have like a couple things to do before I start framing, but today I ran into um, some unforeseen complications that I had to spend all day on. Are you gonna tell them? No. <laughs> <laughs> but it's hopefully fixed. We'll see. So tomorrow I can, or maybe not tomorrow. I don't know. Yeah, Tracy Huff. Craig makes drawer slide jigs. Tracy, I used those today, and those work freaking amazing. I don't know how I was doing it before, but it was not the right way. Um, I used those Craig, those Craig drawer slide jigs today. Maybe that's why like I was doing so good, because I fought the fight on Brandon's bus bad. And those, those drawer, drawer slide jigs actually work really well. Um, and I'm actually talking to Craig about doing a possible partnership with them. So, hopefully. Um, have you looked... So, the good Tom one, have you looked into the FRB for showers? I've actually used that stuff in a bus that I built before. I mean, it just isn't... It just doesn't... I know you guys have seen buses that are built and they're like good, but they're just, I don't know. I like buses. I like things with a little bit of swag. And that FRP stuff just does not have swag. It looks like you're in a hospital bathroom. Like, I don't know. I don't like it. But one thing I did see today that I'm very curious about was I found out that there's a PVC vinyl wainscot material. So... It's basically a waterproof wainscoting, which I use in, I've used in every build I've ever done. Actually, yeah, even the 30 day. So that's something I might look into. Also, I've never done tile in a build that I've ever done. <laughs> Do you guys see Halo over here? Someone said Halo is hungry. I actually <laughs> free feed the cats. She just wants attention. She's so, not hungry. <laughs> yeah, so I might, in so Bussy, after Vin Diesel, Vin Diesel was such a crazy, intricate build that, I mean, we're going on a year I've had this bus. And I need to break from that crazy, intricate build. Like, when I do Bussy, I've decided I'm going to do just a very simple, easy build. And then, um, and just move it. Try and do it in a month. 30-day build. And then when I'm done with Bussy... I'll get intricate and crazy again with uh, with Minion, my my new personal bus. Um, Jimmy and Natalie said they're watching from Arkansas. Aren't and... they? Aren't they the ones building the bus? Mm -hmm. Oh, hi. Hey. Samantha's on here. Too. Samantha's. Oh man, I'm bad. All right, let me figure out what's going on here, guys. Hello, Samantha Homestead. Hello. When's she going to visit you? I don't know. She's in Dallas right now. Is she? She transferred there, yeah. Still working on my bus. Yes, um, Pierre, with a New Zealand uh, dollar super chat. Thank you, Pierre. Truly. Uh, might be a bad... Charles says, might be a best Western winter. Nah. We'd be all right. Huh, Jaylena? Yeah, best Western's too expensive. <laughs> Oh, Sue Roberts, this is a good question. Which bus do the cats prefer? Um, I don't really think that they enjoy any of the buses at this point. <laughs> no? No, not when they're driving. I think they're still getting used to the idea. Actually, you know what? I don't think that they enjoy being in my bus. Maybe I traumatize them with the drive here, but they don't mind Vin Diesel and they don't mind Bussy. <laughs> As you can tell, she's perfectly fine. So Brenda Baker says, why are you selling both buses? Um, because that's what I do here. This is a uh, business. I build buses and sell them. These weren't meant for me to ever keep. Um, and I have three project buses. Well, two. So Schooliana I never meant to sell, but I decided to sell it. Um, but Bussy and Vin Diesel were always a project bus. They were always meant for me to build them and sell them. And then Minion was my work truck until I decided to sell Schooliana. 
Uh, but now that I'm selling Sculiana, Minion's going to be my new house, or our new house. But we're going to have two houses when she gets hers done. Um. <laughs> Van Life with Crystal. Isaac, you can't keep a straight face when you talk about if you sold your bus or not. I mean, you guys will wait to see the uh, the facts of the matter. <laughs> Jimmy and Natalie, you guys have been crushing over here on YouTube. Congrats. Thanks for hanging out with us. Um, let's see here. <laughs> Samantha, I'm dying at the cat. And she said I would give anything for Dragon to love me as much as Halo loves Jamie. <laughs> uh, Julie says when you travel, do you take both buses? J um, Jaylena's bus has never been done, so... So far, no. I think every time we've gone on a trip, we've took Sculiana, we've took Bussy, and then I took Vin Diesel one time. But mainly we've been running around in, um, in Bussy. We've talked about it, though. It just depends on where we're going and, you know, whether we want to take two buses or not. Yeah. Abigail Lay... We are trying to build top shelving in our bus, and the curb is killing us. <laughs> what are my suggestions? Abigail, the curve in the bus is just a nightmare. Like, there's so many different jigs, and there's so many different, like, ways to do it. I literally have bought every jig and tried everything, and it doesn't matter. It still sucks. Um, the best way that I have found is I take kind of a... A thicker construction paper and kind of bend it against the, sh <laughs> the 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 curve of the bus and then I kind of trace it out and then I cut it with scissors I lay it on plywood and then I cut it out stick the plywood up there and, and kind of keep shaving it till I get it somewhat decent <laughs> and then uh, I don't try to get it too perfect because you'll drive yourself crazy so I get it as close as I can, and then I just fill the gap with caulk or some type of trim. So that's that's how I do that crazy curve on the buses. Um, Rob's here too. Rob's here? Mm -hmm. Jim Bandy, why does everyone tear out the ceilings on their buses? Because they're misinformed. Um, or because they don't want a metal roof. Or they don't want a metal roof. Uh, I think most people take the roofs off their ceilings because they watch everyone else do it and they think there's no insulation in there. Which if you watch every video of somebody doing it, they're taking out old insulation. Um, so it's a huge misconception that there isn't insulation. I can look at some right there. There's insulation in buses already. Um, now, it isn't very good, you know. So people will take out the insulation and then put new insulation in. Um, that's better. But honestly, if you're leaving the single pane windows, I don't think it does that much. But on the flip side of that, some people also take the ceilings and the skins off to check for rust. Or leaks. Or leaks. I have leaks and I wouldn't have known if I hadn't taken yeah. the walls and ceiling down. So that's kind of what that's about. Um, I buy my buses from Arizona, so I don't have to worry about that. Um, I don't know. It's kind of discretionary. Like, I think I'm going to pull it out of Minion because I want to do a fancy wood ceiling for the first time. Um, that's going to be fun. Oh, it's going to be a nightmare. I already know. Minion's roof is riveted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just, I like the metal ceilings that don't have, like, the holes in them. Like, the solid sheets of metal. I really like those. I'll probably always leave those ceilings. But the the mesh ones that are in Bussy and Minion, I don't necessarily like those. Um, I don't know. It's discretionary. You don't need to pull them out. People are crazy. Um, okay, let's get caught up. You missed that super chat? I did? Relatively nomadic with a five dollar super holla. Just bought two four window buses. Already sold one. May sell the other before I even start the build. 
Congratulations. Were they seven three power strokes? And thank you for the five dollars. Uh, Van Life with Crystal, right? He says, "Ask any question, and he will answer." Not true. Did I miss something? Would you ask me? Oh, she said something that I didn't find appropriate to ask, so I to put her in timeout. Van Life with Crystal? No, the uh, the lady who said that. Van Life with Crystal was saying because you didn't say whether or not you sold school on him. I think the other lady was just being a little petty. Oh, I missed something. <laughs> um. I haven't seen Daz's video with the uh, with the shower yet. Oh, Jimmy and Natalie, we use FRP for a shower. It's definitely not the prettiest, but they're easy and cheap to install. I want to go back and check your guys' stuff out. Yeah, I mean, I've used FRP. It's easy. It's waterproof. I don't know. I think um, there, there's this, there's this YouTube channel called Our Way to Rome, and they use FRP on the sides. And then they tile the back. So it makes the shower stall like easy, but somewhat fit. I, I kind of like that. It's like it doesn't make it too big of a job, but gives it a little bit of, uh, gives it a little bit of flavor. Um, Bob's gay bus life. <laughs> What's up, Rob? Uh, did you find that Wayne Scott in local? No, I was actually on Instagram today. And I seen a shower stall and they were talking about how they were using the PVC vinyl wainscoting for their shower. And I thought that was such a good idea. Like, I'm definitely interested in checking it out. Never even heard of it. Um, it's, I don't know. I, I don't think you, I think it's something you got to order in. But it would basically be like FRP, but just like a Wayne Scott design. Mary, driving while listening to you, never miss a live. Mary, thank you. Halo wants attention. How cute is that? Yeah. Paul Honeyman, uh, Susan asks questions in capitals. Um, a lot of messages being deleted. I guess I'm missing a whole bunch of stuff here. Yeah, Jimmy and Natalie have been crushing. I want to watch more of their content. Uh, Brenda Baker, are you buying a different or bigger bus when you sell both? I have Minion. Minion is a little four window, 7.3 power stroke diesel. And uh, that's going to be our new temporary home. And I, I, you know, I'm going to give you guys a little bit here. Because you guys are on the live chat, so it's stuff we don't talk about sometimes. And I was, so basically I was going to big build Minion. Eventually I'm going to make Minion an overland, like, four-wheel drive, short bus. That's just going to be crazy. But that's not like, anyways, that's kind of the plan for Minion long term. Um, but, um, <laughs> and then the plan was after that, because I don't think that's going to really be big enough to live in, like, comfortably. Um, Jay, I was thinking that Jaylena and I would build uh, a TC-1000, which is about 26 feet and has a 5.9 compass 12 valve. That was kind of the plan. Once I sold all these buses, I was going to build Minion. We'd live in that for a year, and I'd be looking for that TC-1000. I'd build that out to kind of a bigger bus. I mean, I still have my bus. And too. she still has her bus. But we'd have something a little bigger for, like, just to leave parked somewhere. And then we'd have both of our little dinghy buses to run off and do stuff. But we'd have a bigger house bus. Was kind of the plan. But, live chatters, listen up. This is that inside info right here. Uh, probably two, three days ago, I was just... Lay Sometimes I get up in the morning and I just think about stuff. And I was like, you know what I want to do? I want to build an A-frame cabin. So... I think the plan is um, I'm going to finish all these buses and I'm going to start look. I'm going to save my money and I'm going to start looking for land. And then I want to build an A-frame cabin for Jaylena and I turn it, either live in it or turn it into an Airbnb, park a bus on it if we do an Airbnb and then use the income from that to buy more property 
and basically I want to start I want to probably build one bus a year or van one or two and then I want to start building a-frame cabins and acquiring land and building Airbnbs so I'm kind of on a cabin kick right now I've been a little crazy huh a little bit so I've been researching the laws and like I'm trying to figure out the building situation so it's like you know it's gonna be a bus life story still but I'm gonna start introducing a-frame cabins I've always wanted to build one so that's kind of that's kind of the mission on where we're headed uh, okay can't wait to see the 4 by 4 sign ATR 57 Gypsy Ramirez do you happen to know any good mechanics in San Antonio Texas area that no diesel but i don't know anything about texas you know texas i don't know anyone in san antonio that is a mechanic <clears throat> mm. linda harms apparently there's a bunch of trolls in here you guys are all deleting them before i even see it so moderators give yourselves a hand y'all are on it i ain't even seen one of the weird comments i guess some a couple of people said i look really sad i'm just really tired oh really um, I didn't sleep very good last night, and I did not anticipate the work I had to do today because it was a surprise. Yeah. So, I'm just tired. Yeah, I'm pretty tired too, but I seem to have got a little energy as soon as we kicked the camera on. We gotta, I gotta try and get a little pep in the step, you know? Cause it's like, otherwise you'd be, I'd be over here. <laughs> All right. Oh, Rob's going home. Drive safe, my dude. Uh, yeah, so Rob Yesta, did I see a smaller deck on your butt, AKA Schooliana? Yeah, you did. <laughs> so a lot of you guys have been on this channel for a while. Remember Jaylena's birthday. And we were all singing and playing on the back deck and it broke off. And I realized I didn't want to put it back on because it always got in the way. It was dragging all the time. I didn't use it as much as it was in the way. It, more, it was in the way more than I used it. Um, but the metal fabricator made it a little smaller and raised it up till it was level with the bumper. And now like I feel like it doesn't take any space it doesn't take i feel like it doesn't add uh it doesn't make it feel much longer as far as in the way and like it's raised up it doesn't drag like it's way more usable and i love the design he put another little step on the side of it so it's like oh i didn't even see that oh yeah it's cool like he crushed it man and that's the one cool thing about artists and fabricators if you just Give them an idea what you want and let them do their thing. They usually just crush it. And he crushed it. I love the design. I'll probably put that back deck design on every one of my personal buses from now on. Because it just gives you a little bit of usable space that isn't in the way. You know? Uh, how about Minion? Janet died in the... I don't know what you mean by that. Um, it's because you're so far behind. Oh, probably. You lose the R value stuffing that insulation in too tight. I don't know what that means. It's because uh, you're so far behind. <laughs> am I? Rob's gay bus life. I had leaks and rust bad in Matilda. So, I'll, yeah, if you got stuff like that, you got to address it. So when we were talking about taking the roof off. Uh, ATR 57, I just ripped mine out, and yes, took the old insulation, wasn't going to do it. Then after getting my wool insulation, I'm glad I did, as the other stuff was nasty. Uh, yeah, I, I really like the wool. If I was going to re-insulate a bus, I would do wool, I would do Havelock wool, or I would do spray foam. The only problem is, I wouldn't want to do spray foam by myself. I'd want to take it to a shop and have it done. And then getting any shop to work on a school bus is like pulling teeth. So we'll see. Because I'm going to do it on Minion. I'm going to pull all the skins on Minion just so I can get crafty in there with some woodwork. 
Brenda Baker. Uh, do you think carpet on the ceiling does any good? Seen lots of people do it. I mean, it's gonna help with like quieting it down. Um, I don't like the look of it personally. Let's see. Catherine Biggs with a $5 super chat. Tuck my schoolie on a t-shirt away because it's going to be worth money someday. Isaac, love your Xmas video. Will you do another one this Xmas, please? You talking about my, like, Christmas songs? <laughs> I'm not sure what you're talking about. Peace out, Lisa. There are four buses and two shuttle buses by my son's house. Haven't checked prices. Very tempted, but couldn't afford it right now. Yeah, you got to be careful. Some dude popped by here today, just drove in, was telling me he had a line on some 7-3 short buses. <laughs> and then I was like, oh, how much? How many miles? Blah, blah, blah. But I'm like, I'm trying to, I'm obviously trying to start building cabins next year as well as build buses. So it's like, I got to be careful how many projects I stack up around here. You know? Have you seen, Justin, have you seen Navigation Nowhere? But Yeah, I've been following Navigation Nowhere since I started Schooliana. So I've seen his big one, and I've seen his little one. Unless he got another one. He's helping friends fix theirs right now, as far as I know. Paul Honeyman, Susan, Isaac will answer any questions about his work in buses, unless I miss it. But yeah. Uh... Rob's Gay Bus Life said he found the info for the PVC wainscoting. I'm curious about it. Okay. Let's see. Ha RMA, has anyone used a portable wind power along with solar for those days when it's not sunny but more windy? Not that I know of, but I have heard that before. But I don't think anybody's actually done it yet. Paul Honeyman, 650 people watching, only 264 thumbs up. Smash the thumbs up. Yeah, or, smash the thumbs up. Or the thumbs down, whatever yeah. you vote. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Linda Harms. Yes, I love A-framed homes. Oh my God, I'll follow you until I die. <laughs> I just, I don't, it's kind of like a bus. I just wanted to build a bus, and I built a bus. I wanted to build buses, and I built buses. And then it's like the other day, I was like, you know, I kind of want to build an A-frame cabin just to do it. My mom thinks I'm crazy. You see that? Hmm. What? <laughs> Did she text you or something? Uh, Jerry Riggy TV at the duct tape garage. Isaac, do you save the seats or at least the cushions? How come you don't reuse the cushions from the seats as seats for like the kitchen table benches? Why not leave one at the door for passengers? I have thought about keeping the seats from the buses. I don't use them because they're just not at a good height that you can create any storage underneath it. So it's like I would have to just kind of redo the whole thing um and then as far as the foam it's another one of those things that are just shaped weird it's not like square it's just this big like circle-ish thing so that's why i don't keep it crown in style what up georgia peach what up sup dog what up <laughs> a-frame cabins are cheap and go go up quick too i've never built one so i don't have any oh. um I don't have any, uh, I don't know how they go yet. A cabin life. <laughs> oh, a cabin life. That sounds cool. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, that good Tom one. Definitely brush up on the building code. Yeah, I've been researching a bunch of stuff trying to figure it out. What's Jaylena? Oh, seg three two seven five. What's Jaylena's thoughts on the new plan? Well, um, I mean, my biggest thing right now is I just want to travel. Um, 
but that's a good more like long term setup plan. I think it's a great idea. <laughs> what? <laughs> Uh, Emily, yes, that's my dream too. So excited for your future cabins. Me too. Uh, you both look 420. All right. Yeah. Where, Andy, where's Tiffany? I think she's still in Portland. Yeah, she had some plans with some friends. Yeah. Uh, Patricia, if you don't take any downtime, you'll not get any rest. Yeah, I'm starting to set aside Sunday. All right, I'm going to start pushing towards the the bottom here because I have a feeling I'm really far behind. Jimmy and Natalie just asked a great question. Did they? Mm -hmm. Trolls trolling. I'm that far behind. I don't even see them. So I'm going to try and push... Push forward a bit here. Try and get to the bottom. Uh, Chef Santa cooking travels. I want a four or five window bus after I sell my eight window and handicap door. I have the five nine L six diesel, but I want to get one with the seven three or gas engine. I like the seven three. Uh, yeah, Paul Honeyman is the best moderator ever. Off-grid living, we're good. We're just tired, you know. All those long days, no days off, are definitely catching up. Well, and it, there was a bad storm last night, and that kind of kept me up, too, throughout most of the night. So I was already exhausted and then just working all day. I'm ready for bed. Yeah. And the weather doesn't help. Oh, yeah. It's supposed to rain, like, the next week straight. Um, okay. Trying to push. Here's a big old... Isaac, can you please look into the band list and see if Hot Rod... P6 is in there. I was asked if we could sort this out. He's okay on other channels I moderate for. No, I recognize him. Um, he's always cool. I don't know how... I don't know how to do that. Do you know how to do that? I've never banned him. I don't think I've banned anybody. Check out Girl in the Woods mini A-frame build. Pat Yade, I will. Um... Wild, wonderful, off-grid. You've mentioned them, I think. They're building, like, a insane A-frame, though. Like, there's not a cabin. That is a house. A big one. Yeah. Oh, Jimmy and Natalie. Uh, we're thinking about getting a DC, D DC charger soon for the bus. Have you ever have you ever finished a build with that one? Just curious if we should get one. Oh. Oh, that's such a good question. No, don't do more solar. Get a DC to DC. Um, DC to DCs are honestly more important than solar. Because uh, I don't care how much solar you have on your... If you cover the whole dang thing. If you're... If, I'm assuming your plan is to travel, right? Um, so, obviously, seasons change, clouds, blah, 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 blah. Basically, you can't depend on having sun every day. Um, and the cool thing about a DC to DC charger is no matter what, if you're low, if you're under a tree, if you're at an event and like you're blocked off on solar, like you're not screwed. I can literally turn my DC to DC charge. I can turn my vehicle on for 15 minutes and my whole power bank is full. I think I went two weeks without a solar panel on my roof on Sculiana and just survived off a DC to DC charger. I think it's the most underrated piece in a build ever most people just want to put a thousand watts of solar on the roof don't have a dc to dc charger get to oregon it starts raining and then they have no power um dc to dc chargers are awesome yes get a dc to dc charger like because we just had our friends here 
um, and they're from Florida and all they have is solar. And then when they were just, when they were in Florida, they never had a problem. And then they came out here and they were just out of juice 24 um, seven. But if they had the DC charger, they'd be solid. So get one. It's one of my biggest um, things. Recommendations? Recommendations. Uh -huh. Van Life with Crystal, are you still going to do calendars? I honestly forgot about it, but I should. <laughs> uh, why not just a year, Marshall Hooks? I, I, I just want to build an A-frame. It's just a thing I want to do, and I'm going to do it. Uh -huh. Yeah, Samantha's bus. She, I mean, her van, she doesn't have solar. She only has the yeah. DC to DC. You don't charger. even need solar. Like, as long as you're driving... Like, like, if you're traveling in a van, you could just do a DC to DC charger. Like, the solar is nice to top it off, like, if you're stationary or not moving. Um, but I think the DC to DC is more important than solar, to be honest. Mm -hmm. um, someone said they've been missing your lives. We've been kind of all over the place with our lives. Like, I used to be Tuesdays, and we're, we're trying to get a nice little schedule together here. Yeah. So that we can be... We're working on it. We're working on it. <laughs> All right. If I'm missing your stuff, I'm sorry. I'm trying to get... Uh, I'm trying to get down here to the bottom. Uh, what? I went backwards. I'm seeing stuff I already read earlier. Oh, man. Let's see. Yeah, you're way behind. Am I really? Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to push forward, y'all. I'm sorry. Just go all the way down, and if you miss someone's comment, they can comment again. No. Why? You're so far behind. No, I'm not. Yeah, Samantha, I have zero solar and love my charger, but now that I'm not really driving in, in Texas, I can see the appeal in solar. Yeah. I think I think you should have solar. I just don't think you need to get crazy with it. If you get a DC to DC charge, it, it just really depends on your application and what you're going to do. I think that's one of the big things, too. Like, if you're building a 40-foot bus to sit on property and never drive, obviously a DC to DC charger is not what you want. Uh, but if you're going to be traveling around, like, a DC to DC charger is way more critical. Um, Joanna Goodman, what amps for the DC to DC charger? I personally run a 40 amp. Um... I know, who was I talking to that had a bigger one? And if they weren't actually driving, like if they were idling, it took so much juice it killed their battery. Who was that? I don't remember. So it's like, I'm a little cautious of doing anything bigger because I heard of that. I don't remember who told me that. Um, so, yeah. Uh, Alex is Moses. What are your thoughts on the most cost-effective way to start a do-it-yourself build? Uh, a no build. I think so many people get so caught up on Instagram pictures and like trying to be perfect, they never finish. I see more people not finish a build than I see finished builds. Um, and it's not about how pretty your build is. Like, sure, that's cool. But it's about the lifestyle, the freedom, and the experiences you get from your build. So my advice to a do-it-yourselfer, uh, get your rig, put a no-build in it, spend no money, uh, go out and experience it, learn what you want and don't want in your build, um, and then build your rig. Don't just jump into a build without having any experience, because I've seen that too. I've seen people spend thousands and thousands of dollars get on the road for one month and realize they hate their couch and wish they built a dinette see it all the time so get out spend no money and decide what you want and don't want and then start building it and don't try and be perfect uh, 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 uh crown of style victron makes killer dc to dcs they do i've never used one though uh genie mcgovern 20 dollars super chat Jeannie, thank you so much. We love being able to, to do YouTube, and, you know, those really do help. So thank you, Jeannie. Peace out, Lisa, with a $10 super sticker. It says number one fan. Peace out, Lisa. Thank you so much. It is appreciated. Am I almost at the bottom yet? 
kind of, not really. No? Uh, ATR57 Gypsy Ramirez, what brand DC to DC? I personally buy Renogy, the Renogy DC to DC chargers. Uh, just because I've installed them so many times that, like, it's easy for me. I don't got to figure it out. I hear that the Victron ones are better. I've just never installed one, and apparently the install is different, and I don't really feel like learning a new language. I think that's what Cronin style yeah. recommended. Yeah. So it's like, I'm not, you know, the, I, I've had the Renogy DC to DCs for years. They work great. I know how to install them. I don't got to reinvent the wheel. Um... But if I was starting over, I'd probably try the Victron one. I just don't want to learn how to install it amongst everything else I'm doing. Um, Melman Aider, any experience with Red Arc Electronics? No, I've never used any of their stuff. I pretty much use Renogy or Grape Solar. I use Grape Solar panels and, and Renogy stuff. Uh, Travis Schultz, will a high amp alternator charge a Jackery or other portable stations any faster than a regular alternator? No, because it's going through that little thing that's, what do you call that? It's rated for only so many whatevers. Oh boy, that was a terrible answer. <laughs> it's rated uh, for those things, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, one of those things. <laughs> Samantha, me, I wish I'd done a no build first. Yeah, I think that's one of the most important things. Don't spend a bunch of money. And the other thing you want to do is you want to make sure your vehicle is reliable. So go drive it around. Find out what you want or don't want. That's another thing I see over and over and over again. I see someone buy a bus. They park it in front of their mom's house. They spend the next three years building it. Forget to turn it on. And then they go to start it to drive away and it don't run no more. Or they get out the driveway and it breaks down after three years and $20,000. Drive your vehicle, make sure it's reliable, and get out there and kind of live a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You want to know You want to know what you want, not what so-and-so on Instagram wanted. You need to learn what you want. Um grandma i'm back my kids wanted my attention joshua i don't know how to spell your last name or say your last name periara good morning beast isaac jaylena canada ontario transit ontario youtube video what up <laughs> uh, someone asked for bb is oh yeah where's bb i thought i saw her go on the bed i don't know i don't know where she's at she's over here earlier yeah Joanna, I can't cut wood straight. It's always sideways. Yeah, same. <laughs> That's why I've been trying to figure out some kind of jig. I've bought in like 10 different jigs. Uh, yes, Girl in the Woods is Brooke, and she's awesome. I watch her channel from time to time. Do you? Mm -hmm. I'm going to go check her out. I don't think I've ever heard of her. But I haven't really been into anything but buses till recently. I'm going to go check her out. Thank you. Uh, Miss Mary Lou and selling thrift and furniture is also awesome, also super cost effective. Totally. Okay. Let's see. Trying to push. Trying to push down. Uh. uh, uh, uh. Taco lover. <laughs> I bought a 1985 Chevy Thomas school bus with a Chevy five-speed stick. Heck yeah, congrats. Um, Linda, do you have your buses winter ready? Can you all, cause you all get a lot of snow, right? Yeah, we do get a lot of snow. Um, I think all you gotta do to get a bus ready is put a heater in it. Like once you put a heater in these things, like you're solid. Uh, Alexis Moses, what do y'all mean by a no build? Oh, okay, my bad. I'll explain. Um, basically, once you get your vehicle gutted, put an air mattress in it. Throw a mattress in it. Put a cool... Basically, you just make it livable without building anything. Just like camping at first. Yeah, because cause then you'll learn, like, is a shower 
mandatory? Is the toilet mandatory? Is it not mandatory? Because you only have so much space to work with and everyone is different. So each person needs to decide what's important to them. Yeah, when I was in my van, it was a simple, a very, very simple build. But like, I started with a cooler, wound up ditching that because it was too complicated. I had a shower set up, I never used it. Um, I didn't have a sink, I didn't have like a water source. So I really learned what I wanted and what I didn't want. And because I didn't dump a whole bunch of money into it, um, it made me feel better going into a second vehicle and a, and a second build. And if I wanted to keep that vehicle, I wouldn't have felt bad ripping everything out and redoing it or just adding stuff to it. Yeah. Alexis Moses, do you mean live in your vehicle without building it out first? That is what I mean. Lisa Thomas, someone asked earlier, what do you do with the seats you take out of the buses? Well, Schooliana, I sold them. Every bus after that, I took them to the dump. Sorry. Right. Um, yeah, I'd probably just take it to the dump. Yeah. You can try and sell them. Sometimes people will buy them. Charles, so then JD's going to retire and come help you build A-frames. <laughs> I mean, if I could give him enough money, I'm sure he would. <laughs> Alexandra, they took the foam off and sold the metal. All right, push in. Oh man, am I at the bottom? Yeah, look at you. Wow. G gridless life. $10 super chat. I'm already subscribed on another account, Dave G. I figured I'd sub with this one too. Love your videos, guys. Gridless Life, thank you so much. Uh, Amanda Sinclair, Athletic Greens with Breakfast Burritos? I have no idea what you're trying to Someone say. Someone said we should get sponsored by Athletic Greens, but I didn't know what that was. I don't know what that is either. Modern Self Reliance is a good channel too. Huh. You probably would like his channel. Um, Miss Mary Lou, I was part of a tiny house group when building and planning who were mostly geared towards building houses. So I went to Overkill from the start and have pared down as I've, I've gone along. Yeah. I think a lot of people go. I think a lot of people get very, very excited when they decide they're going to build a bus or something like that. And then they start doing all this research and they start listening to everybody on the internet and they start spending all their money. Um, yeah. But again, you, you need to decide what's right for you. Uh, Alicia Cheney, we donated everything we took off uh -oh, our bus to a local high school bus shop. They got bus shops in high school now? Bus shop? Huh. I took wood shop and metal shop. I'll check this out. Brenda. Other day, an old geezer just had to show me his new luxury van that he had set up himself. He had bikes inside, beds, small fridge. He worked online. He was so excited. He had put it together himself. That's awesome. I've seen some vans that cost as much as a house. Mm -hmm. um, peace out, Lisa. <clears throat> Got any juicy info where you are with your current project? Uh, I touched on it earlier, but Vin Diesel, I got two drawers done. I have a slide-out pantry. Like, I'm so... There's two major projects left on this bus, and that's the cabinetry, which is more than halfway done now and the putting the solar on the roof like that's it um so i'm very close to finishing vin diesel uh and i know i keep saying that but like you know i'm starting to really see it so i'm excited i'm hopefully to have this listed before the end of the month um oh my back hurts so bad oh we're almost done uh. We only got five more minutes, babe, and then we can go make some food. 
Jennifer Ray. Go to sleep. Oh, you're gonna go to sleep. You ain't even gonna eat. I said, and then go to sleep. Oh. oh, and then we can put on a movie, and yeah. then we'll go to sleep. Jaylena and I always watch movies before we go to bed. Yeah, it's our nightly routine. That's our time we spend together. And now we're gonna take Sundays off and spend Sundays together. Are we? Are and you gonna, gonna take be our date days? Oh, I thought I was gonna take Sundays off, and you can I'm keep working and ignore. A, I'm not. I'm gonna take a day off with you. Oh, okay. Yay. <laughs> Okay, uh, Jennifer Ray, my youngest son, got it a 38-foot bus. Such hard work on his own. Partially built it out as they could afford it to, but had to give it up. Ah, as he was diagnosed with cardiom, I don't know what that is. Cardiomyopathy? So sad was his dream. Oh, Jennifer, I'm so sorry. That sucks. I'm sending you my love. Um, Paul Honeyman, 10 pounds. Put this towards your next Brexit breakfast with Jaylena. Aw. Paul Honeyman, thank you, thank man. Thank you. Isaac and I have been eating healthier. We've both been exercising every single day. Yep, I'm going to get my six-pack back. We're not eating out anymore, like once a week. We, we Maybe on Sundays we can eat out. Oh, yeah, that'd be a good idea. That could be our date night. Mm -hmm. $5 from Taco Lover. I love my little bus. Me too, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Alexis Moses. Sorry, another question. Laugh out loud. How do you know what to look for in a school bus in terms of what's under the hood? Diesel version gas. I, uh, I have experience, I guess. I've been buying buses for years. Um, and I only buy one bus. I only buy 7.3 Power Show buses. Um... I would buy a 5.9 Cummins 12 valve, and I would buy a 6.6 .6 Duramax. All diesel. I would never buy a gas bus, not to keep. Um, they just don't last as long, and they're just not really made for the weight. Um, so they do terrible with fuel economy. I, I had My bus, Schooliana, got the same gas mileage as my Chevy G20 van, and I have way more room in Schooliana. So... I will always buy a diesel bus, personally. But this is all my experience and what I choose to do. What you do is, you know, yours. A few people asked what's for dinner tonight. Link was a... I'm going to have a progresso soup. Chicken and dumpling. I didn't know. I didn't even need to learn how to cook. I could just get lean cuisines. I just figured <laughs> that out this week. I don't even need to learn how to cook. Two will... Two old people on a couch in my, co my house cost me $64,000. That's not bad. That's cheap. Where are you at? Oregon, you ain't gonna find no house with property for $64,000. Good night, Linda. Good night, Linda. I haven't seen that, but good night. Um. Oh, Lisa Thomas said, when are y'all's next videos coming out? Isaac has to go do something tomorrow, and if I go with him, then I'm not going to get my video out. I wanted to get it out tomorrow. What if you bring... But today slowed me down. What if you bring a computer and a laptop and you edit on the road? But I still ha I have stuff to do. Oh. Because today I didn't get to it because the other stuff that was going on. Oh. So if I go, that sets me back another day. So my video wouldn't come out until... What's tomorrow, Friday? Don't know. Till Sunday. And then I'll go live on Monday. But then if I stay and I don't go, then it'll come out on Saturday. So, we'll see. Right, Halo. Right, Halo. Right, Halo. Alisa, Alicia Cheney, our high school has a bus mechanic shop on campus to service all the school buses? Wow, cool. Um... Oh, all right, we're going to wrap this up. So I'm going to look for any last minute questions and then Jaylene and I are going to go eat. Sharon Sedgwick with a $5 super sticker. It looks like a lemon dancing. <laughs> Thank you, Sharon. Uh, Haley V, I've been trying to talk to my husband into rebuilding a bus. He's not quite on board yet. We have a 34 foot travel trailer and it's just too big, even with three kids. Yeah, it can get big. Charles says coffee shops. I'm not sure what you mean by that. 
So Justin and Juby, the Nomadic Movement, Eamon and Beck, Trent and Allie are all sponsored by Athletic Greens. I have no I idea, idea what of... Athletic Greens is. So they said it's basically like a power. Huh. I'll check it out. I already have some stuff that I paid a lot of money for. Hmm. That's like Super Greens drinks. I just discovered Justin and Juby. Like they're kind of big on YouTube, but I've never even heard of them until recently. Uh, 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 um, let's see. All right, I'm looking for any last minute. Oh, Miss Mary Lou, I actually went for a gas bus because California, there are big restrictions on diesel. Mm. I've heard that actually. I've heard California is like taking all the diesel. Like, I don't understand how they can do that. Eric, my house is 14000 in Indiana. What? Wow. I found a really cool cabin on the side of a mountain for twenty grand one time. Really? It was not finished on the inside. It was just the bare bones, but... Extra Extravagant Minimus. I had a Chevy G20 van. Loved it. That was my first rig. I love that thing. All right, all right, all right, all right. Um. All right, everybody. Say good night, Halo. Thank you so Hello. much for hanging out with us, and we will see you in the next video or chat. Thank you guys for being here. We appreciate you. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.